are, are, are your glasses marked with places marked at this point out there? The bridesmaids? I put them out. So that's what they're going to say. Ready for this event? Yes. <laughs> good. All right, that's a good start. Thank you very much. Little boy tuxedo. Yeah. Okay, just a few more. Actually, do that one more time. The hair pick Yeah. Thing. Hip out this way, and then put your, yes. No. <laughs> Really pretty. And then just look out into the distance. Nice.
Yeah, you're supposed right. to slouch while he stands here. Put it this way. No weak spot. <laughs> no weak spot. Pre-reading comment from the mom. Pre-reading comment. I guess I would say first that I wish that my mom was here. Mm. Good. That's a good one. Oh yeah, it's Cameron. Yeah, Cameron's. Uh,
her mother and I. Welcome family and friends. We're gathered here today to celebrate a very special day in our family. And we're grateful to have each and every one of you here with us to add your best wishes and blessings in this ceremony that will unite Eleanor and David. We also want to recognize all of those who can't be with us here today, whether separated by time or space. Even though their physical bodies are not here, their presence, their love, and their support is felt as we honor and bless this couple. Let us pray. Holy Spirit, love is your richest and greatest gift to the world. Love between two people, which matures into marriage, is one of the most beautiful types of love. Today we celebrate that love between Eleanor and David. May your blessing be on this wedding service. Protect, guide, and bless them in their marriage. Surround them and us with your love, now and always. You may be seated. Eleanor and David. It is not with words alone, but with conscious thought and loving actions that a meaningful relationship is formed. The two of you have already demonstrated how much you love and care about each other. Real love is something beyond the excitement and romance of a new love. It is about caring deeply for your growth, your welfare, and the happiness of yourself and your partner in an equal and balanced way. Real love complements who you are. Love makes burdens lighter because you divide them. It makes joys so sweet because you share them. It makes you stronger individuals so that you can become involved with life in ways you never thought possible. All of us here wish, you, wish for you a love that makes you both come to know your perfect selves, a love that provides you with the energy you need to face the responsibilities of life. Marriage in its deepest and truest sense is a spiritual union, the uniting of two souls. It is two persons working together toward one goal, two persons manifesting as one in hope, desire, and aspiration. What you promise today must be renewed each and every day. With the dawning of each new day, remember how grateful you are to be together in this life and recommit yourselves to this marriage. This decision is not to be entered into lightly, lightly, but under the guidance and infinite wisdom and divine love. I invite the two of you now to close your eyes and take time in the quiet of your own being to dedicate yourselves to each other and to the goals you have for your marriage. Whatever it is that you've decided to accomplish together, know that you are never separate from God and your success is assured. So now will you please join hands and David, hear these words spoken in love. On this day you marry your friend, the one you laugh with, live for, dream with, and love. Your pledge to Eleanor is to love her for herself, in the hope that she will become all that she can be. You promise to honor this pledge with faith in your future and through all the changes in your lives. And now, David, I want you to answer these questions. Do you, David, take Eleanor to be your lawfully wedded wife, your constant friend, your faithful partner, and your love from this day forward? I do. In the presence of God, your family, and friends, do you offer your solemn vow to be Eleanor's faithful partner in sickness and in health, in good times and in bad, and in joy as well as in sorrow? I do. Do you promise to love Eleanor unconditionally, to support her in her goals, to honor and respect her, to laugh with her and cry with her, and to cherish her for as long as you both shall live? I do. Eleanor. Hear these words spoken in love. On this day, you marry your friend, the one you laugh with, live for, dream with, and love. Your pledge to David is to love him for himself in the hope that he will become all that he can be. 
You promise to honor this pledge with faith in your future through all the changes in your life. And now, Eleanor, please answer these questions. Do you, Eleanor, take David to be your lawfully wedded husband, your constant friend, your faithful partner, and your love from this day forward? I do. In the presence of God, your family and friends, do you offer your solemn vow to be David's faithful partner in sickness and in health, in good times and in bad, and in joy as well as sorrow? I do. Do you promise to love David unconditionally, to support him in his goals, to honor and respect him, to laugh with him and cry with him, and to cherish him for as long as you both shall live? I do. Can I have the rings? Thank you. All right. David, take this ring and place it on Eleanor's left hand and repeat after me. Eleanor, I give you this ring. Eleanor, I give you this ring. To wear with love and joy. To wear with love and joy. As a ring has no end. As a ring has no end. Neither shall my love for you. Neither shall my love for you. I choose you to be my wife. I choose you to be my wife. This day and forevermore. This day and forevermore. It's the tape. But it's the right. Eleanor. Place this ring on David's left hand and repeat after me. David, I give you this ring. David, I give you this ring. To wear with love and joy. To wear with love and joy. As a ring has no end. As a ring has no end. Neither shall my love for you. Neither shall my love for you. I choose you to be my husband. I choose you to be my husband. This day and forevermore. This day and forevermore. Let us pray. On this beautiful day, two souls have come together, drawn by mutual love and respect to be joined in marriage. May their days and years yet unborn deepen the joy of their choice and make it abidingly true. And so it is. Amen. Eleanor and David, in so much as the two of you have agreed to live together in wedded bliss, have promised your love to each other by these vows, the giving of these rings, and the joining of your hands, under the authority of the law of our land, I pronounce you husband and wife. Congratulations, and you may kiss the bride. Woo! I present to you, Mr. and Mrs. Avery. Yeah. 